Hey, Danny here. And welcome to my garage. We're at it again. This is the 08 Jeep Compass. The wheel, barrel, wheel bearing I put in has, has failed as far as picking up its anti-skid. The I when I pulled it, I looked in here, and there's a massive amount of grease in here. It probably got built up enough underneath the pickup to uh, shut it down. So I don't know what happened with the seal. Seal let go, and the grease spit spit out. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. Um. I had a one-year warranty anyway with Advance, so we'll go ahead and get that down. Get down and get a replacement for it. Put it back in again. Because without any skid, you don't have four-wheel drive. You don't have cruise control. Uh, you just don't have a lot of stuff. So here we are. Got her back in the vise. The press. Bloop. Wait a second now. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's about it. One more, maybe. <laughs> That's present down. All right. All right. She's now out of the turnbuckle. Now I got to get the bearing off of the spindle. Found a. That's like a half inch freaking bolt. I want, uh, rounded down the head on it so it fits right inside that bearing. And then, of course, now I got my three. Three finger pulley puller and then hopefully they'll slide right out because it's fresh it's not it shouldn't be locked on there um, so we'll we'll see unfortunately I've never figured out how to get the bearing get the bearing off of there without the inner race coming off with it take a um, one of these and Start pounding on it and get it to move. Because again, I just put this on there, so it's not going to be that hard. Okay, we're using the chisel. I was able to sp spread it just a little bit. Now I can get the teeth on it and it'll come right off now. All right, we're at the last, last little stage of this thing. This is off. The bolt worked good. I need, I need a, I need to put an indention in the dead center of that so that the uh, middle of the middle of this thing here will sit in the middle and won't be walking around on the head. All right, back, to, back to advance to get a new, new bearing. Well, when you know, I get down here and somebody bought that. That bought that bearing from the other day, so now they got to send me. They got to send me another 20 miles, or they can have it here in a couple hours. Well, by the time I drive all the way home, turn around, and come all the way back, go all the way home, it's it's the same miles. So I'm heading 20 mile 20 miles further to go get my bearing. All right, we're back. I'm gonna go ahead and get this bearing put on here. the second time make sure we got the bearing going in the right direction when we put it in here <laughs> all right so here's your here's your pickup right there that's gonna go on gonna go in 
because it's got to be picking up. All right, we got our nice sheet in there. Somehow or other, I lost the uh, video of pressing that, that bearing right in there. Now. Main highlights is not only making Looking sure that good. the anti-skid yeah, ring so is facing the right ahead. direction inside the steering back. knuckle, but when you're Plug pressing that way. bearing into it, right, yeah, yeah. make sure you're pressing on the outside yeah, of the bearing. Um, now, when you go to press the hub yeah, in, sure now you need to make sure that you're seated, supporting the inside the shaft because race. Pushed out because here. if you don't, you're well, going to shove, shaft here, shove that all, bearing apart all made up. and you're going to screw it up. All right, I just put the, I lined it up with the lower ball joint, and then put my first bolt in. To avoid pressing all that in and making mistakes, you can buy a steering knuckle with the bearing and the hub already installed. All you have to do is buy a new anti-skid cable, or if you can get the old one out, you can do that too. Back in here. Right. Get car in there. Another thing is to make sure the bearing is seated because you're not going to be able to seat it by using the drive shaft. It will not work. You can tell if it was seated because you'd be putting the C-clip back in, which I did not do. Yeah, yeah. Nothing that. Tighten it up. Like that. Pull those all together. Probably check that later. Later date. Yeah, I think so. Alright. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright. Let's go ahead and get that. Surprise on that one. There's this one here. There you go. Nuts on there. Those will pull themselves in. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's get. Uh, He's up. 18, no. 21s. Up on the floor. Yeah, I skipped. Up in that hole. And I hope. <laughs> and I hope, and I hope, and I hope. I have my anti skid back. No reason I'm changing this. There you go. Okay, 13. Twenty one. <laughs> All I can see what the torque is, it's like eighty, eighty foot pounds. Okay, where'd the nut go? <laughs> My nose. Ouch. 
Okay, those are done. Slate. Pretty freely. Plug that in. Alright, um. Cut it on in. I need my bolt here. Um. I have a bolt, but I got to get a nut for it because the other the nut is stripped off. You might have saw me do. All right, so here's the here's the bolt, but as you can see, the nut is shot. All right, back to it. Got me a got me a nut, an 18, nice clean 18 this time. This back one, the fifth. Back on the 15. There you go. Alright. Get all this torque down here in a minute. Hopefully that pickup's gonna respond. Everything's, everything's clean. Uh -oh. Get some torque. Memorize anything, and that's my problem. <laughs> well, I can't memorize anything. I can't remember anything. Remember where I got it from. Alright, Lord. More ball joint. Stabilizer strap. Power on. Ball joint pinch. 60 foot. Yeah, because I did. I had the problem. Problem is. Puppy, I can't remember which one what it was. I've had a I've had a ball joint drop out, and I know I had it torqued. Yeah, I'm already there. We're already there. Okay. Used to be that you used to have little curves. In it, so the, when the bolt went through, it would lock in that, lock in that little moon moon cutout, lock down. You'd be good. There's no way it would come out. Now they just make them freaking, they're smooth. There's nothing for the all the bolts going in. Again, it's just squeezing that. So if you don't have it tight enough, it's possible just to pop, pop right out. All right, the uh, turn uh, steering knuckle to the spring for it. Strut, strut two, steering knuckle bolt, 81. No, up there. Okay, I don't have to worry about the back side because again, those are uh, spline. Right on it. All right. I'll have to get the big. I'll have to get the big torque wrench to do that. It's 180 foot pounds. All right. All right. We'll go with the more ball. That's torque. That's torque. Now we're gonna go ahead with the your uh, Mister 
Alrighty. Eighteen. Oh, I got eleven. Eleven. Eleven sixteen. Eleven. Eleven sixteen. Uh, which I thought I was using the seventeen. Fifteen. Just do eighteen. Twenty-one. Nineteen. Eighteen. Pull it up. Hit it once. Right here. Tie it right in. Tie it right in, jam that. 55. Tie it right in to steering knuckle. Tie it right in to. Tie it right in to steering knuckle nut. 97 foot pounds. That's pretty doggone tight. Now, of course, when you do that, you need to make sure you leave a, you got to leave a hole. So you can put a, uh, here in there, or a uh, quarter key. Yeah, it was just the next one up. Okay, I'm going to make sure we find a, we got a hole. Actually, just stare it. Turns it turn out. Ah, it's kind of. Oh, I guess. Ah. I've got a kind of whole line. I'm still not in a ninety-seven. Um. <laughs> if I try and untighten it, it'll probably turn the steering, steering wheel back. Well, <laughs> uh. all right. All right. Okay. Let's try now. See if we find a hole to put the car key through. You've seen me. You've been following me. You've seen me do this freaking. Couple hundred times. Hey, I got what? Oh, come on. I can split it one way, split it the other way, or however you want to do it. As long as it's not going to come back out. The whole point is for it to lock your neck. Separate. Separated. There you go. There we go. Mm. Usually take the long one and put it up over the top, but I wind up being that way this time. Yeah, this one down. All right, it's there. I do the same. I do this here, so it's up there. All right, time to get the start. You won. Always hang your caliper. Compress. Oh, maybe. Not. Oh. 
get back in there. This way, so it's not inconveniencing me. I'm going to get some quickness. The bolt's in. Sometimes it's a good idea to put nuts. Put your nuts up already on this thing. That one was good. All right, we're gonna top one. Number 18. Oh. foot pounds right. so what did we just use mind you right we double check we should have 90 left Next break book. Break break section. Uh, Galper mount guide bolts. Galper mounting bracket bolts. 80. Here. 18. Um, 18. 18 short here. Uh, all right. What's your new long arm? that back. Hey, my hose back up with it. Let's go get the big torque wrench. Get that to 100, 180 foot pounds. That's under drive, drive line. Clutch and drive line. Questions. Clutch and drive line. Uh, drive shaft, overdrive, center. Drive axles. Drive axle hub. Front. 180. 180 foot pounds. If I remember correctly, the one on the freaking 
gave. They want like 210 foot pounds. I'm like, what? Oh. Pulling that bearing back together. Which means it's going to true it up as well. Pulling it. Pulling that bearing in. Nicely and smooth. Uh oh. Don't be careful. I'm stripping that nut out. I hope. <laughs> Something happened. Let me pull that, pull the uh, bearing together. Now what's going to tell is if we got the, is if the uh, anti-skid is working. Oh, I forgot to, I got to put that nut back in that I took out for the, the pickup tube. I was gonna have to pull the pull it out. Huh. There's a lot of a lot more torque torque in going that way. Huh. Not to clear though. You never wanna 
loosen something. Okay, here we go. Use it for the wheels. Okay, I believe that's it. All right, I get my tools away, get the tire back on. I'll get that plugged in and we'll see. See where we are. All right, I went to put the tire on. I went to check it for very tightness. And all of a sudden, I'm getting this play. And I remember being uh, uh, taking it out the driveway. I'm like, well, I wonder if my link is loose. Well, it's not. I, I just, it, it, this hasn't even got maybe 8,000 miles on it. And this lower ball joint is gone. I can feel it. I can feel it rattling in its. Ah, dang it. This is all new, this is within, you know, uh, we've had it on the road within the last 10, 10 months. You know, the wife, the two daughters have been driving it, and I've probably got 8,000 miles on it since I got it done, but how loose that is. That's freaking nuts. I got, I got the, I got the swing, I got the, you know, control arm. With the bear, with the bushing, or tie rod in. Oh my God, I'm tired. Lower ball joint install on it. It all came together. I hope I did not get this from Axel. I won't be happy. It's a press. It's a press in, press out. Uh, and I'm not gonna. That's not gonna affect them. That won't affect my. Uh, and I skid at the moment. Jeez, wheeze. If you don't have a way to do this yourself, <clears throat> it's costing a monthly payment. Uh, the Explorer has got a bad outer tie rod, and that has to be freaking. I gotta do that one. At least I got one. I got one with the inner. My life, I'll tell you, is just working on freaking family vehicles. I'm supposed to be freaking retired, being able to do other things. I'm glad I like working on vehicles. But finally got. The nitro is finally done the way it was. And first day, as you can watch, see how that is? Man, I need to make sure the tie rod. Make sure the uh, anti skid is functional first. And I'll come back on that. Uh, I don't get it. Bearing's tight. Yeah. Bearing's really tight. What is going on here? <clears throat> what the heck? I can't even move the wheel. <clears throat> what the? Oh. Okay. 
Okay, so. Get it. I don't get it. What's going on? Because I did not seat the bearing in the steering knuckle, like I said earlier. And when you tighten, I tightened down the sh uh, drive shaft nut. It was pulling that in against the back. The back side of the shaft was being pulled in against the wall of the steering knuckle. This is not. You tighten the nut up, it's gonna it's gonna take that bearing right up on into the onto the shaft. Look at this freaking it. They hit it. Hit something with it. Um 
don't get it, I don't get it, I don't get it. Um, When I torque, when I torque the frick, the, um, the shaft nut all is to 180, the bearing won't move either. Mm. All right, so I don't know if you're there. All right, so our problem right now is it's not seated inside here. And when I go to torque it up to 180 foot-pounds, it's pushing it against this when it's tightening down. It's not tightening against the... Um, it should be tightening, tightening against this in here. And it's not because it's pushing against this as I'm tightening it up. I was thinking it was going to pull it right up in there, pull it tight, we'd be done. But that ain't happening. All right. I pressed it in a little bit more. I haven't hurt that ring any. I'm, I'm freaking impressed. There's a little bit of crap right here I need to get off before I go ahead and do it. But she is seated all the way up now. So when you go, when I go to tighten that drive shaft on here, it's going to lock in on this. It's not going to be locking in on the outside of the freaking, it's not going to be locking in here. It was pushing on this because this was not all the way up here and seated. That has to be sitting in here once it's locked down. So there we are. Hopefully it takes care of everything. Including my anti-skid. Okay, torqued her down to 180 where she needs to be. I think I got just a little bit of room to put a put one through when I do. All right, where she, where she should be. Okay, and of course it's nice and loose. <laughs> oh my god! All right, she's all back together again. I'll retorque, I'll re curry keyed. It's nice and nice and loose. That is at 180 foot pounds, like it's supposed to be. And it wasn't, of course, it wasn't picking up the anti skid when I checked it earlier because of the fact that it was too far away um, for the pickup. So hopefully, hopefully you got it this time. All right, I'll go. I'll go with, I'll go with that now. <laughs> oh, nuts. So, that tells you that you're not going to be able to pull that bearing in with the drive shaft. Because when you take that bearing out, you got to remember to take that C-clip out. And I didn't choose to put the C-clip back in, so I didn't press it completely in. So I could put the C-clip in. And of course, that's how tight you want it is. So you could put a C-clip in it. All right, let's see what we got. Um, I took the unplug. Why? <laughs> oh, geez. Gotta go in. You gotta go in with your scanner. Uh. And reset it. Okay. Come on. Let's read. Okay. Let's go. Okay. What are we doing? Got it on. Let's see. I got nothing. Okay, everything was successful there. <laughs> All right, All right. Now we gotta go. I right, know. Okay, let's go back in. Reset everything. Okay. I gotta go into S. We gotta go to ABS. No, oh, all right, 78. I just put that in a minute ago. Is it automatic? Yes. 
right. I know my battery's getting low. Okay, talking about that front wheel sensor, which is correct. That's what we just did is that whole bearing. We're going to go ahead and re... We're going to push the... Our reset button. And then we're going to punch... Yes. And let's see. Because the race was successful. Which you just came back. That's possible though. Possible that freaking sen uh, sensor is bad too. Reset. We'll take it for a ride real quick, see if we can get it to reset it. See if it'll pick up. Well, unfortunately, not success. Still have it. Still says it's the right. So, maybe it's the harness. I'll have to uh, see if I can change out the harness, but it is a son of a gun trying to get that sensor out of that steering knuckle. It's almost impossible without freaking destroying it. Well, I mean, even, which means I've got to yank it out, and then I've got to freak, probably, I've got to, Last time I had to do one, I had to drill it out, and it's not a it's not a pretty thing. I got to freaking pull that all apart again, and of course I got to do it anyway because the lower ball joint's shot. So we'll be doing them all together at the same time. So anyway, if you like, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share. We'll catch you on the next Dana's Garage, and this is Project Jeep.